do you find Sprite too weak? Were you wishing you had an Omni Negate like totally awesome? Well, how about you try Brave Sprite? If you still need a beautiful playmat, go to zerodamagegaming.com and use the code SOLEM for a discount. Now, back when we had the European Championship, Brave Sprite was actually one of the best decks out there. And I believe now that we have Toad Band and Master Duel, it might actually be the way to play the deck. Now, you might be thinking, hey, there's one problem. Brave is nuked to shit in Master Duel. Well, don't you worry. I found a solution. I found a way to make Brave Sprite just consistent enough, despite all the Brave cards being at 1 and 2, to where you might still want to consider it. And yes, I will be going over combos so you can see how it works. Firstly, we start with 1, a Galaxy Serpent. This is a level 2 Dragon Tuner normal monster. Now, why the hell would you play this? The reason is Carboneddon. Carboneddon says, you can banish this card from your graveyard, a special summon from your your hand or deck one level seven or lower dragon normal monster in phase up defense position so if carbon is in the graveyard you can special summon a galaxy serpent from hand or deck now why would i ever 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 care about summoning this little thing if brave is active you cannot actually use a normal summon effect so nimble beaver out deep sea diva out dark beckoning beast out all of the cards that sprite usually uses in order to start comboing are just gone this means we need to get a little creative creative. And my creative fix is Carbon Eden. But I will show you how that works later. Another reason this actually works really well is because Carbon Eden plus a level 3 extender can now make Cherubini. And so despite us only having 3 ways to get into Brave, we now suddenly play a bunch more. Because Carbon Eden plus Wielder or Tracker or Teleport is now another way to reach Cherubini into Brave. And then the Carboneddon can banish itself from Grave, summoning out a Galaxy Serpent. And then we can overlay Galaxy Serpent plus Cherubini into Gigantic Sprite. And then Gigantic Sprite can special summon Blue, Jet, and so forth. So we can basically, without actually using a normal summon effect, get into full Sprite combo while also searching Brave in the process. That is why Galaxy Serpent plus Carboneddon is the way to do this. You will notice I also use this in my Sprite Chaos Pile. And that profile will also be going up a little while later on this channel. Next Next we have one driver. Driver is basically the brick for Gamma. Now why am I playing Gamma? Basically Gamma is broken as hell into Sprite, but in this deck it also has a little bit more. And that is that it completely nukes the living shit out of Max C. If we activate right over Emissir and our opponent activates Max C to basically start drawing off that special summon, that means our field is still empty so we just chain Gamma onto their Max C. Now that nukes their Max C, we still get, you know, to play without being under Max C. And we also get a free fucking Chaos Ruler. But if you do not like a free fucking Chaos Ruler, it can also make Sprite Elf. You can Gamma plus Driver into Sprite Elf, Sprite Elf revive Gamma, overlay Gamma plus Elf into Gigantic Sprite, and boom, you're in Sprite combo again. Beyond that, if we use Water Enchantress or Teleport and our opponent tries to Ash that, boom, Gamma. If we activate Starter and our opponent tries to Ash that or Max E that, boom, Gamma. Gamma is basically like the best offensive and defensive hand trap ever. And now that it creates a Sprite Elf for free, this thing is more broken than ever. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. That's why the one driver is worth it. Next, we have three effect failure. Once again, the best thing about Sprite is that it's a small engine. So being able to uh, draw into hand traps is really good. Three Max E because Max E is broken. Two Gamma because, I mean, I gave you my TED talk. I don't know what to say. Gamma in this deck is just cracked. Next we have 3 Sprite Blue because it's the best Sprite. If you want to have more information on, you know, Sprite, I made an intro to Sprite with a bunch of combos and so forth. So if you're still new to Sprite, check that out for sure. Triple Sprite Jet, 1 Sprite Red, 1 Sprite Carrot. This is just the most basic Sprite setup we all know. Then Triple Carbon Neden. Like I said, Carbon Neden is our way to make Cherubini, which then gets us into Brave and Full Sprite combo. But it is also a 1 card Sprite combo because you can Normal Summon Carbon Neden, make an Almirage, Special Summon out a Galaxy Serpent from Deck, Serpent plus all mirage makes elf elf brings back serpent and then elf plus serpent overlay gigantic sprite boom full combo so like i said yeah this shit's good carbon is basically like nimble beaver but on steroids next we have one ghost ogre this is just another okay hand trap but at the same time it is also a way to turn teleport into a disruption so when your combo didn't require teleport now you can just set the teleport and in the opponent's turn activate it boom get a ghost ogre out one more way to disrupt then we have triple ash because maxi is broken it's also a really good hand trap to just draw into we have one wielder 
and one tracker. These are level 3 extenders to pair with the Carboneton. I might actually want to run even more of this if I notice that I don't get into Cherubini as reliably as I would like to, but that, that'll require a little more testing. Also note that um, any of the hand traps like Ash plus Ogre, basically Ash or Ogre um, together with the wielder or tracker also makes Cherubini. So like don't just think of only Carboneton. Uh, this is another reason, by the way, why, why you might want to consider uh, tracker and wielder at higher copies. Now we have the one water enchantress, Griffin, Brave, Right, Brave, Draco back, Brave, uh, Fateful Adventure, Brave, and to teleport, God, I wish we had three. This card is just a way to get our wielder or tracker out. So we have like more level three extension. So we have like four, which is pretty okay. But sometimes you might not want to go into the level three extension because perhaps you already have, you know, Carboneton and Brave combo or something like that. In that case, you can also just activate teleport to special summon Gamma. So this way, teleport can also be a level two extender when you want to do your sprite plays. Then we have to call by because Maxi is broken, to starter because sprite is broken, and then one smasher because you can search it with jet. For the extra deck, we have a Chaos Ruler. Like I said, it's not at all bad to just, you know, use our Gamma plus Driver to make a Chaos Ruler because we actually have a lot of good targets in this deck. Don't forget that Veilers are lights and Sprite Blue and Jet are dark. Also, if you Chaos Ruler Mill Carboneton, that's a hard plus as well. So like, usually you'll be able to hit something pretty solid of Chaos Ruler and that's just, you know, hella free. Alternatively, you could play Jam Dragon Drive, which is the punk card to make out of Gamma and driver and then you can just search your ogre and or your wielder slash tracker that's actually not a bad idea i just thought of that but i like chaos ruler he's my boy so he's staying now we have baron the way you make this card is if you did do the gamma driver thing and you have one more sprite body it turns into a baron but what you can also do is normal summon any hand trap together with wandering griffin rider and make it a baron sometimes that might be useful because your opponent might imperm your griffin when you go second and use brave to try and break your board but yeah it comes up enough in my opinion to where I want to run it and Baron is just broken. Then we have one Sky Cavalry because it's the best way to make Zeus. Only Bimaru because it's like really solid removal. Two gigantic sprites. Uh, one Zeus. One Almirage. Like I said, it's a way to make Carboneton a one card sprite combo. Cherubini, like I said, it's our way to get our right stuff going. Then one Lambda because since we're playing Gamma, our end board having a Lambda is actually pretty solid. You notice in Sprite because we no longer have Toad, you often have empty bodies that don't turn into much like you could be making a gin buster and that's cute but it's not that crazy when you could have been having totally awesome before so if our board is like sprite elf ip lambda with a gamma in your hand sheesh that's pretty solid and if you're really really desperate you can just make this and not have gamma your opponent doesn't know you don't have it so you know <laughs> now we have our ip and triple sprite elf now why am i playing triple sprite elf the reason is basically that when you are wasting a sprite elf on the Almirage combo, you basically have to pretend like three is two. Now, if you don't have the gems for three, that's fine. You will probably get away with two, but I still want to have the three. And then finally, Unicorn, which is the thing you get off your IP. So that is the Brave Sprite deck. And now let's head into the combo. I'm really excited for this. I love this deck. All right. So in this hand, you know, looks like a mess. I'm just going to show you how one Carboneton is Sprite combo. So we're going to Carboneton. We're gonna turn it into an all mirage. Bada beam, bada boom, give me all mirage. Next, we will activate the Carboneton, which will get us our Galaxy Serpent. Now, also note, whenever you have a hand like this, that also means you have a bunch of hand traps. So, like, you can't really complain about that. It's just that your board isn't gonna be very, very cool, but it'll still be good enough, especially because sprites just have, like, this endless recursion. So, now we get our Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf activates, gets us our Galaxy Serpent back. Now, we can overlay these into Gigantic. We activate Gigantic. That gets us our Sprite blue that gets us our sprite jet jet gets us starter activate starter this gets us red and then we simply make the second l with gigantic and blue and then set one boom so in our opponent's turn we just activate elf get back the blue add something to our hand so we have follow up and that gives us a one negate and one banish on top of you know the rest of the hand which was hand traps meaning bricks but also meaning you know more negates so that's like the worst case scenario this is similar to when you just open a swap frog and a bunch of hand traps so you swap Frog into Al Mirage, Ronin Totem, and so forth. So it's a very similar combo, but this shows you that Carboneton, even though it's level 3, it counts as a level 2 
in the weaker hands. Now I've shown you the weaker hand, so how about I show you a bit of a stronger hand? Not insane, you know, we opened Fateful Adventure, which is a semi-brick, but it'll it'll be good enough to show you the, the whole point of the deck. So we normal summon Carboneton, we activate Teleport, going to get our Psychic Tracker out, just like that. So then we will make a Cherubini out of these two. Cherubini is a Link 2, which is very, very important for this deck. Then Cherubini will send our Water Enchantress to the graveyard. Again, this is why Fateful Adventure is a brick in this case, because, well, Water Enchantress would be getting us that card anyway. But regardless, we're not going to complain. We're just going to show you the combo. And just imagine the Fateful Adventure is a beautiful hand trap instead. Now we can activate Fateful Adventure real quick. Then we will activate Rite of Remesir. We get ourselves our Brave Token. Get ourselves our Draco back. Then activate Fateful Adventure. Get our Griffin. Send Draco back away. Then activate Draco back to equip it to the token. Then we special summon the Griffin. And now because Carboneton is part of the level 3s we used to make Cherubini, we get rid of Carboneton to special summon out our Galaxy Serpent. And now we're set up to do Sprite Combo. Again, I showed you something that was typical for 3 Axis decks, you know, level 3 decks like Torn Scales, Phantom Knight type of deals. But here... We're actually just going to do a sprite combo because we're going to overlay the Galaxy Serpent and the Cherubini, you know, level 2 and link 2. And without ever having any sprite cards in our hand, we will still full sprite combo here. So we'll activate Gigantic Sprite, get out our Sprite Blue, Sprite Blue activates, getting Sprite Jet, Special Summon Sprite Jet to give us maybe Sprite Starter. Let's not go for Smasher for once, you know. Then we're going to make a Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf is going to activate, is going to bring back any. It it can be Sprite Blue, it can be Galaxy Serpent, it doesn't really matter. And then these two could go into IP or a Gin Buster if you want to do that. Uh, if we drew Gamma, we could even go into Lambda instead. But, you know, let's just do IP to keep things simple. Just like that, we have our IP on the field. And now we activate Sprite Starter to special summon out a red. Okay, and so just like that, we opened a Fateful Adventure Brick. So if not for that, you would actually have three cards in hand still. And two cards basically made this whole board. Like two level threes, one of which had to be Carboneton. That's crazy. We made a sprite board with a Brave Token, without opening Brave Token, and without opening Sprite. Just two level threes, one Carboneton. That is basically how I think we should be playing Brave Sprite in this day and age. I hope you found this very interesting. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Again, if you still need a beautiful playmat, go to zerodamagegaming.com and use the code SOLEM. And I will see you soon. Ciao.